Another example, which is sometimes cited as prima facie evidence that Genesis 2 and 3 is not intended to be a historical narrative, is the role that trees play in the communication of spiritual qualities. And it's alleged that no one could ever have concretely believed such a thing. Therefore, these must not actually have been trees. They have to be something other than trees that communicates the same spiritual quality. Or the trees symbolize but are, uh, symbolize this other spiritual quality, but there's no way that that quality could have been communicated through trees. It doesn't make any sense because to this day, millions of people, arguably billions of people, passionately believe that spiritual qualities are communicated through um, plants of one kind or another. And I use the word plant in a loose sense. You know, to this day, most people are familiar with at least the idea that if you take certain kinds of mushrooms, mm -hmm. you will have a certain kind of access to the spiritual realm that you would not have. And for some reason, that is considered to be completely plausible. At least it's plausible that people would believe that because we know for a fact that people do believe that. But we just know that there's no way anyone could have ever believed that a tree would do something like that. There's no real logic or control to this idea.